Heroes versus Homefront 24, presented by the Jacks Freebirds, is a great event that gives back to first responders and military members in a time of need. And today, we have Scott Snyder here to tell us all about it. Scott, thank you so much hey, for being morning. here today, man. I really appreciate your time. So, who are the Jacks Freebirds? Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, thanks, and good morning to all of our neighbors here on the First Coast. Uh, the Freebirds are a collection of local business leaders uh, okay. that believe in corporate citizenship and also just have a passion for finding opportunities in a timely way okay. of helping folks that are in need in our local community. That's very cool. So, you know, what is Heroes versus Homefront 24 then? Yeah, so 24 is the fourth version of this. Uh, really? oh, born four years ago, thank you. Uh, four years ago, we launched a tournament because I live in Atlantic Beach and one of our local officers, uh, unfortunately, was involved in a criminal engagement that um, nearly took his life. Oh, wow. And so, pulled some people together and said, hey, let's have active duty yeah. play against civilians in a golf tournament at Atlantic Beach Country Club. That's cool. And let's raise money to see if we can find a way to help this guy. And um, the turnout was outstanding raised a good bit of money for him, and even though he'll never serve again, yeah. um, we were able to just to offer a, a tiny bit of, hey, we got you, you know? And so the next year, it was triple. Wow. Yes. Holy that's the turnout. cow, so the community is really coming out. It has, it has tremendously. That second year mm -hmm. was with uh, Wounded Warrior. Okay, yeah. And then Friends last year was a banner year. We um, pulled everybody together. We had 100 players together again at Atlantic Beach Country Club, which if you haven't been out there, is an absolutely immaculate venue. Okay. And um, again, active duty versus civilian, so it's not a hit and giggle, right? <laughs> it is a real tournament. There's a trophy that we're that we're competing for. That's right. And um, and we just want to celebrate what they do every single day, yeah. to either protect us or to mm -hmm. help serve us. Yeah. Um, none of that happens a lot. Right. That's, That's what we're about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, growing up here in Jacksonville, <clears throat> my uncle Bob is retired uh, Jacksonville Sheriff's mm -hmm. Officer, and you're right. A lot of times it is an incredibly thankless job and we could all do probably a little bit better, you know? And so that's a really great event. So Thanks. who have been some of the past recipients? Well, as I mentioned, Officer Stafford that mm -hmm. very first year, Wounded Warrior was our second year. Last year, uh, we had two recipients. Okay. Uh, we had two Jacksonville Sheriff's Office officers, uh, Jenny Johnson and Malik Derricode. Um, and that was our best turnout. It was fit over $50,000 in a single day. Nice! And we found a way to, what we believe is just impact them at a time where they desperately needed some help. And that's what we're thinking about in terms of, of this particular event. How do we, in a timely way, come to the aid of someone who always comes to our aid and we call them? Absolutely, no matter what, too. And uh, so who is this year's recipient? This year's <laughs> recipient is, uh, is Jason Woodruff. Uh, he goes by Woody. Okay. And he is at Station 19. I think those guys might actually be watching right now. Right um, on. What's up, Woody? Right off of Arlington Expressway. Um, and so Woody is not only a Navy vet, um, but also been on the department now, I think, for over 11 years. He's an engineer on Station 19. Right on. And um, unfortunately, he was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Oh. And so, you know, you think about just the implications yeah. of what happens when not only a, you know, a fellow member of a station goes down like that, but then also to the implications of what's happening with his family. Absolutely. He is married, he has three boys, uh, an 18 year old, and then twin 17 year olds. Wow. They're in high school, I believe, at Orange Park. And um, we're just finding a way to, to help that family through Absolutely. a tough, tough time. Yeah. yeah. All right, so where can folks go to learn some more information and help? At jacksfreebirds.org. Um, everything is there, including all of our socials. Any opportunity that someone has to make a donation through there, the cool thing about the, the, the Freebirds and, and how we run this event is we as the Freebirds take on the overhead of the organization. So that means when people donate dollars and they're doing so to a 501c3, it's tax deductible, they do so and it goes directly to who we're going to make the move, make the money helping for. So um, we're excited about that. And just real quick, you were talking about the Scottish accent. You have <laughs> yeah. a great Scottish accent, no, by the way. It. So part of our pageantry, and this is part of it too, and thank you again, um, is we have a quartet of bagpipers. <laughs> they're going to come and they're going to play all the anthems <laughs> of all the various agencies, That's including awesome. our national anthem. That's and awesome. so at some point, I'm absolutely sure, maybe you do it better than I do, but it's got to be like, we got a piper down. Yeah, they got right? a piper down, hey! Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Scott, thank you so yeah, very much. You, I really appreciate, appreciate your time, man. That thank is very you. cool, guys. Make sure you get out there and check this stuff out. So coming up.